Welcome, Katharina Barley, uh, Vice President of the European Parliament and SPD representative of Europe. Uh, we're here in Berlin. What does it mean for you to be in Berlin? Well, Berlin is, uh, is a city that is close to my heart also because my parents met here, my parents got married here. Um, maybe I was started here, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, and then of course I returned uh, to become a politician quite late in my life, but I did and I enjoyed it. I was born in Cologne. Uh, my parents moved from Berlin to Cologne, and my father is is British. Um, he's a he's a journalist. Or he used to be a journalist. He's 88 now, <laughs> and uh, my mother is a doctor, and uh, she's German. So I grew up in this binational family, and and they took us kids very seriously. So if we had a question, I remember asking Amnesty International. They work for prisoners, but prisoners are people, bad people, you know. So they explained to me why prisoners are not automatically a bad people. I must have been maybe, I don't know, maybe six or seven. So yes, we discussed a lot. Then we jump a little bit uh, at one point or you um, turn to politics. Um, how did that go? Well, to be very honest, I, I bumped into politics actually because I moved. Uh, from my place where I studied to the place where I live now and I was working on my PhD which is a quite a lonely thing to do. Nobody else does what you do. And I didn't know anybody in the town and it was election campaigning time and there were people in the streets and so I discussed with them and then I thought yeah well why not um, go there and I, I did and stuck to it ever since. And why social democracy? I think that you know deep in your heart, if you're interested in politics, where you belong, um, at least if you're potentially on the left or on the right hand side, you know, if you say support the, the strong and it will trickle down, or if you say I'm, I focus on, on everyone, on the weakest uh, in society, and of course I was left. So for me at that time it was the choice between Social Democrats and Greens. But I love this idea of a, of a party that includes everyone. And we have everyone. We have really people who live on social welfare. We have absolute top managers who earn a fortune and everything in between. And I think it's good that we are so diverse. It makes it harder sometimes to find a common position, but you can discuss everything within your own party. And if we find a solution, it's usually a good one. Well, and later in your in, in your career, you've held many different positions, uh, first as a lawyer, but later in politics as a minister, a member of European Parliament. And the common themes you're involved with are always social justice, equality, rule of law. Can you explain why those issues uh, are so crucial to you? Um, well, social justice, I think, has to do with, with my father. He emigrated from Britain because he came from a, not a poor family, but a very small farm, tiny farm even. And he was very bright, he still is, and very, he worked hard, so he got a scholarship and he wanted to go to Cambridge. So he passed the, the written exams, and then the oral, he didn't. They didn't let him enter. So I don't know if it's true, but the family legend says it's because he didn't have the right accent, not the right clothing, not the right manners maybe, not, the right school he came from. So, because Britain is very, um, it's very focused on the elites. Um, so he left Germ uh, he left Britain and came to Germany. And I, that was always something, I, I thought, why do you have to leave your country to get the best education? I mean, you have to, you have to get it on your merits and on your will and so, so I think that was something that really influenced me a lot when it comes to social justice. Yeah. And then of course I became a lawyer and fighting for democracy and the rule of law is just so, so important because it's the base, the fundament of everything we do. 
and it's really in danger at the moment. Yeah, uh, as, as you've also spoke about in, in the panel discussion, uh, Europe faces a lot of challenges. At the moment, uh, recovering from a, from a pandemic, a war in Ukraine resulting in an energy crisis, a cost of living crisis. We still have the climate crisis. Um, why is it even more now than ever important for social democracy to be strong, united and delivering also for European citizens? Well, we are the one who really focus on people's everyday lives. And um, we are the ones who, who guarantee that fascists don't take over. So the developments in Sweden and Italy uh, are worrying you? Yes, unfortunately. And I think that you have to watch the conservatives in this situation because what they are doing is um, they, they collaborate with them they form coalitions with them. I think this is really dangerous because what we in Germany, for us it's maybe a bit easier because we have this past, we have this history, to say no, you never ever go into a coalition with fascists. In a few weeks time, the Party of European Socialists, Social Democrats, Labour parties uh, across Europe we will hold our uh, um, congress here. You will be the host, SPD, uh, the chancellor. Um, you will host us uh, here. What do you expect of uh, the congress? Well, first of all, I'm very excited. Um, we are very, we are all very excited, and we're really willing to make it a, a super summit, um, especially in these in these difficult times. So, what we need to send is a very strong signal of of unity, but also the will to, to battle the crisis that we have, the energy crisis, the climate crisis, um, the COVID crisis, and of course the, the, um, the con consequences of the Russian war in Ukraine. Um, it's a huge, huge exercise that we have to do, but it's only with us that, we can, that, that this can work. It needs social democracy for that. And as a former lawyer, former minister, now vice president of the European Parliament, SPD representative of Europe, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you going? It's it's just the the conviction that we need this democracy, that we need this Europe also um, to to preserve peace. I think it all comes down to that because of my personal history. My father. When he was a little boy, he saw he, he lived next to the, the only place where pilots were were um, were trained in Britain, and he saw these bombers going to Germany. And my mother fled from east to, to west, and the British bombers almost she, she passed through Dresden the day after Dresden was bombed by the British. So the idea that that my father saluted these bombers as a little boy, not knowing what it was, who almost killed my mother. Of course, they liberated, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. Yeah. The British, of course, helped to liberate um, Germany. But this idea of war is very present in, in my family history. So I never, ever want this to happen again. And my sons are, are 19 and 26, and I never, ever want them to go to war. And, and we need a united Europe, a Europe that, that agrees on values, that, that works together um, to preserve peace on this continent and hopefully more than that. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.